Good morning, friends. Today we are eating a ribeye and some frozen curly fries that I cooked. I made everything in the toaster oven. I'm sorry. I made the fries in the toaster oven. The steak in the air fryer. Bon provecho. Happy Friday Vlogmas Day 5. I missed you guys yesterday. I had like a uh, midlife crisis, as you say. A lot of shite happening. But I'm better today. I talked to some folks. They relieved my tensions and my stress. And we resolved the situation that was happening. I'm walking Old Chapel. Come on. And we're just gonna take in the beautiful evening. Mother Moon is right there. You see her beautiful? It's a nice cool evening. I have my new crochet shirt on. I'll show you more when I get inside. Good morning friends. Today we are in the beautiful state of Maine. Bangor, Maine, where my wonderful Stephen King lives, and the home of lobster. I love me some lobster. No, I've never been there either. <laughs> but I have because of this cup. Thank you very much. This morning we are having some turkey salami, some egg and cheese, onion, red bell pepper, and I got two of them. Got two of them. Little burritos. Got my abuelita syrup. I'm gonna put some syrup in there. Oh, just a little, just a little bit. Just a wee lad. Got my coffee. Turn to the side. And pour. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Let me get the creamer in. I'll be right back. Hi friends! Good morning! Today is Sunday, August, uh, hmm, August 7th. It's 2.35 p.m. Right? Yeah. I've been up for a while actually. Uh, I was on the phone with my friend. Muy caliente. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. I just brought Muzi inside. She has her bed all set up. Her um, air conditioner is on. Yes, Muzi has air conditioner. Thanks to her dad. <laughs> Uh, Chop is here. He's not feeling well today. You guys know when something happens to me, it affects my entire body. And I shut down. I shut down everything. I couldn't make videos. I couldn't smile. I couldn't bring you guys joy. I reached out to a couple of my friends. They helped me out. Some made me laugh hysterically. A couple made me cry. But crying is good. It soothes the soul. It makes you feel better. So I am back. I did crochet something last night, first time crocheting since everything happened. But let's get a sip of the coffee. This is Maine. Thank you very much. Cheers. I love coffee. I love coffee in the morning. I know it's not the morning anymore. It's 2.35 p.m. But I have to wait to eat my breakfast now. Um, So, so because I was in a little funk master flex, as you say, I needed a palate cleanser to get the Crojo back to kickstarting. And I was watching Happily Hooked. I'll put her name here. I can't remember right now. She has a Granny Square coaster um, tutorial. And I went ahead and made a couple. I made two of them. I made one funky and I made one plain. And I think they turned out pretty good. So let me finish eating and then I will go ahead and show you all that I've done, which ain't too much, but I'll I'll catch up. So here's my little burritos. And I will see you in a few. Fun for Vecho. Hello my friends! Today is August 9th. It is 12.59 p.m. I made my little coffee. 
I use the cake cups. This is Italian roast. I take a knife, cut open the top, and pour it in my French press. I have lots of cake cups because I had an imitation Keurig, but I don't have it no more. <laughs> Here's my chocolate chocolate. I just put a sliver. Oh, about that much. Oh. And then we get the hot water. We get the hot water. Pour it in about there. Get my trusty lid. Now this is how I make my coffee in my French press. It is not the way others make it, but this is how I make it. And if it makes me happy, I'm going to do it. I got some eggs cooking. I got some beans cooking. I got some potatoes cooking. Ooh. And I got some hatch green chili that I got when I was with Terry in New Mexico. Was settler. Today we are in Phoenix, Arizona. My best friend Chrissy got me this. And it says Valley of the Sun. It's called Valley of Death. Death Valley. Valley of the Heat. <laughs> Camelback Mountain. Phoenix, Arizona. Oh yeah! Thank you Chrissy. I love you. We're gonna get our abuelita, not sponsored. We should be though. <laughs> Just put a sliver like that. Ooh, too much. Get my creamer. I like to put my creamer <clears throat> before I put the coffee. Whoa. So this way it's all nice and hot. Two, three. Stir that chocolate with the cream. Now on my eggs, I put three things all the time religiously. Black pepper. Black pepper is an anti-inflammatory and it helps with uh, inflammation. Garlic salt. I don't use regular salt. I love garlic. Just a little dashy. Oh, it's made with sea salt. I never noticed that. And I always put Italiano seasoning. Bing, 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 bing. Just like that. Now we have this uh, green chili. I'll put just a sliver on top of my eggs. Because I don't know how hot it is. To some people, it's not hot at all. Initials, uh, Terry Mottis. <laughs> but to some folks like me, it's hotter than a mofo. Let's get my beans. And put them on there. And if you're wondering, and if you're wondering where I got this beautiful Nightmare Before Christmas set, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming gifted it to me for my birthday. Two years ago, I thank you very much. I love you so much. Now, the papas. And that, my friends, is a breakfast of champions. Oh, yeah. Enjoying my breakfast and watching my friend Kimmy Kim the crafty nomad. I will link her down below If you have not seen her already She is the one that is running the yarny YouTube hop and I got to get cracking on that because the situation going on here at home is is uh, Depriving me of my creativity and I need to let that stuff Kick to the curb if you know what I'm saying <laughs> So uh, check out Kimmy's channel down below. She is multi-talented, and she's beautiful, and she's my friend, and I love her. So bumper metro, friends. Okay, Kimmy, I'm ready to watch you.
Bye bye. Hi friends, it's me and old Chapo. Say hello, hello friends. I hope everybody is doing great. I hope you are staying cool wherever you are. I have the air conditioner on high. This is hotter than I'm here in Los Angeles, the city of Los Angeles where we live. Am I making you sleepy already? Would you knock it off? There is no way I'm making you sleepy. Does that mean you're not interested in yarn? Your grandma's a hooker. You do understand that, yes? She's a hooker. She loves yarn. So if I love yarn, you have to love yarn too. Okay? <laughs> Chop said he ain't with the program. <laughs> Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thank you guys for joining me again. <clears throat> I know it's been a few days, maybe a week or so. Thank you to everybody that reached out to me and to Selmer. <laughs> she did give me the message. Thank you very much. It's just been too hot for me. It's too hot. I don't feel motivated. I don't want to crochet. I don't want to do anything. I'm having trouble sleeping. You know the old saying, misery loves company. And there are some folks that would love to see me miserable. And I have some special fingers for them. <laughs> Can you guess which ones, friends? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so I keep smiling and I'm just trying to recharge and regroup. You know, I had to take a break. I know I'm not, I know I'm being very vague with everything that happens and and you know, ever since old man passed, I'm very careful on the words that I choose and what I want to share. I know you guys think I share a lot and for the most part I do, but when it comes to like um, the mental health arena and medical stuff, I just, I try and fix it here within <laughs> because it, it was, it was a lot. So like I said, it has been very hot. It's been like in the hundreds, 99, 100, 99 for, since the last time I saw you. And it's just too hot. I got the AC. Like I said, it's on 68. It's just started cooling off. I spent the day with Leo today to recharge me and woosa me and roll the egg on me and the whole bit. And thank you, my friend Leo. <laughs> she helped me read a pattern because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I want to share with you what I've been up to. So, I just started crocheting like two days ago. Or last night? Maybe last night. I don't know. It's all a blur. But I want to show you what I made. So, first off, I made some crochet uh, cup coasters? Cup co- no, not cup cozy. I guess they're coasters for the car. You know where you put your cup holder. Shingado. I am so out of it. The first one I used. Um, I used this yarn. Uh, is it Premier? Jennifer? I don't know. What yarn is this? It's cotton. I don't know the name of it. I just know it's cotton. And it's beautiful. Beautiful rich colors. <sighs> and it smells divine. <laughs> so since they're long strands of um, variegated yarn, the first one that came out was this one. It's a cute little round coaster. I made this a few days after the tutorial was released and I think it's a bee hooked. I'll find the tutorial and put it down below. It's not be hooked. I can't even think right now. It's so hot. So I pulled a little bit more of the orange and I got this one. I love this one so much. It's so beautiful. So now I got to hold them. <laughs> hey, these would be good if you wet them and stick them in the freezer and then lay them on your eyes to help with the swelling. <gasps> I think I'm going to do that. So this is my cup holder for the car and put them in there and there you go so that's my first faux 
You guys know I'm doing the little baby dresses for my baby Aurora. This is my grandbaby. She's almost here. I added the little white border to this yarn. This is Chelsea Yarns in Vanilla Fig. And then I made this one last night. This is Frost Yarn. She dyed this for me. Um, I don't know the colorway. I bought this, gosh, maybe a year ago or so. I love this color. It's hand dyed DK. And the same thing, they're all gonna have this color. It's like a soft, soft gray. It's not even that dark. It's that it's like that it's called innocence and one of you guys sent it to me thank you very much and I'm just using just the wee that to outline and this is my second dress I made it's beautiful look at the colors I will leave the tutorial for this dress below so now I have one two three four I told you guys, I've, I've been, it's been so hot, I don't want to crochet at all. But I've made four of them. They're pretty. My goal is ten. I have till September 1st to make these. Then I went to Bath and Body Works. And they had a sale. They had these little hand sanitizers for 95 cents. And I bought... 60 the first time around you see them and then I went back and I got 40 more and they come in packs and I'm putting this little sticker on all of them that's going to be for the baby shower and this is how it's going to turn out they look so beautiful I am so happy the way they turned out so so happy uh, in the process, Bath and Body Works said that I had accumulated enough points, and I got this for free. I have not opened it. I was like, well, thank you very much. If you all love the free stuff. Oh, it smells good. It's a hand sanitizer, a body spray, and some crema. It's cinnamon, apple, and honey. There you go. Um, then I bought this for my beautiful friend, Michelle, Two Bossy Knits. I will leave her link down below. She is the one that sells the amazing bags that I have given out to you guys before and the pins and the cups. And now she's making shirts and y'all know I had to get this shirt, but I needed a bigger size because I think she only goes up to a extra large or two X. And I was like, I'm a big girl, baby. Can we do 3X or 4X? So she was able to get me... She was able to get me a 3X. And this is the shirt. Crochet, Big Daddy! Crochet! Can you see? Yeah. And here is a picture of me wearing it. And look at the smile on my face. I'm showing all my white teeth assistants. I'm just so happy thank you my friend it is a great quality I highly recommend it if you're a hooker like myself and would like to get this shirt her link will be down below and her Instagram you guys remember that I placed an order with uh, Chelsea Yarns and Red Bank Mike and I wanted some of his candle well they arrived this is the one I ordered lemon pound cake and my gosh, it smells exactly like a lemon pound cake. If you like lemon pound cake, you will love this. <sighs> mm. They also sent me candied apple. And this one, <sighs> I burned this in the living room. It's like a cinnamon, cinnamony, apple-y sugary scent yummy this will be good for the bathroom and the living room to keep the funk away you know what I'm saying <laughs> so let me show you the yarn that I got 
it was uh she does have a sale uh tab if her link will be down below but when you click on the top left the three little bars it'll take you down to new arrivals kits yarn sale extras click the sale one she always has amazing deals and they're like 16 dollars each so the first one i got was vanilla fig Ooh, big daddy. Is it upside down? There you go. Big daddy. Chelsea Lux Yarn. Ooh, wee. This is DK, and I like a lot. And I also ordered this one. I can't remember the name, but I'll put the name here. It's a cobblestone yarn. Precious stone? Something like that. <gasps> Look. Look how rich it is. Ooh. Jesus Christ almighty. This is uh, either sport or fingering. There's 436 yards. <gasps> precious, precious metals, precious stones. Ah, this blue is magnifique. I love Chelsea yarns. I love, love, love to death. Her yarn always smells beautiful. There's no cat fiber. There's no dog fiber. There's no long pieces of hair that they wound up together. There's no knots. I mean, it. it when you wash it, the dye doesn't come off on your hands when you're crocheting with it. I mean, I can't say enough. I cannot say enough. I get her advents, everything. She does things she she is an incredible freaking dyer and i love you christina thank you very much <laughs> look <sighs> i i can't i can't say enough i will always any little monies any little pennies i have left i will always put it towards chelsea yarns i love chelsea yarns so much not sponsored just saying so she had dyed this yarn it's called champagne rose and I asked her if she had any more of it. And she said, no, unfortunately, this was last year's. But she said she does have something similar. And for baby Aurora, she would include something for me. And she gifted me this one. It's called Rose Gold. <laughs> Can you imagine? The little dress is going to look exceptional. Look at the little pieces in there rose gold it is a dk kind of similar kind of in the pink family thank you so much christina i cannot wait to hang this up and start making some dresses and thank you thank you thank so my friend linda i will leave her youtube channel down below she had reached out to me and she was like Hey Z, I'm going to south of the border. And she goes, I want to send you something. What she didn't know, <laughs> you'll know today, but what she didn't know is that I already had said something. I already had sent something to you. So while you were getting your stuff together to mail to me, my package got to you next day. <laughs> or that same day, was it? I don't know. But I'll leave that video down below where um, she was like, Oh my God! You know, I sent her two Amigurumi books and I sent her a um, um, safety eyes so that she can make the Amigurumis. She loved it. I am so glad that you loved it. Her package arrived and I want to show you what she sent me. So I did open it up. And... I did open the box, but I have not looked inside. There's a card in here. Love you always, Linda Crochet. Linda Crochet and more. She sent me today's prayer, which says, delight yourself, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37-4. Thank you. And then this is, I guess that's south of the border. 
Ya, ya, para arriba, arriba, arriba. ¡Ay, ay, ay, ay! <laughs> Mexico. We have these all over the place. These little burros you can take a picture with. They used to get the zebras and paint them white in stripes. Horrible. Horrible. South Carolina. I have been to South Carolina one time when my daughter graduated from the army and I was terrified the entire week I was there. <laughs> there was frogs all over the trees. There were so many pine trees or those big pointy trees. They were scaring me. So let's see what we got in here. Thank you, Linda. I love this yarn and I have this yarn. I only have one. This is Hobby Lobby. The color is berry. I love this color. Leo, remember when we went to the clearance? They didn't have this color on sale, but I sure did want it. Show sure did. I got two of them. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I got a mug. South Carolina. I got a mug from South Carolina, y'all. Look. Look. I'm going to wash it and use it tomorrow. Oh. It's empty inside. Thank you, friend. I got some more stuff. What's this? <gasps> Shut up. You got little bits from my baby? Oh. My first Halloween. Shut your mouth. <gasps> oh, she's gonna look so cute. And it's Velcro. Thank you, Linda. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she gave me a lovey. Oh. Linda, is this for my baby or for me? <gasps> Thank you so much. It's Minnie Mouse. Ah, <gasps> uh, these are the loveys that I have a tutorial on on my YouTube channel. Always linked down below in the playlist. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I am almost positive this is for my baby. Thank you so much, Linda. We're thinking of her. Oh, thank you, thank you. And we have some. Happy mail from Justine Robbins. Now, Justine reached out to me this morning and she was like, Hey Z, you refused my package. And I was like, what? All my packages go to the P.O. box. They're at the main post office. So I was like, I didn't know such thing. I didn't know such thing. I need to find out what's going on and who's refusing my stuff. So I immediately went down, called the post office because it was, um, I was still in bed. And they said, no, they have it. They sent me a picture and they said, is this it? And I said, yes, why was it scanned, refused? And apparently this, they have new scanners and the old number that you pushed for delivered is now the new number for refused or something like that is how they explained it to me. So they had to go back and they said, thank you so much to you, Justine. Thank you very much because they had to go back and scan all the rest of the parcels that apparently they hit refused on and it was delivered. So now we got to the bottom of it and let's see what she sent. I do not refuse packages. I was very sad to hear that that had happened. I think there's been two packages that were refused and that was because they were sent to the old PO box in Los Feliz where I haven't been there in like four years and that's how long ago I changed the address so I'm hoping oh, there you go so let's see what happened it says thank you I didn't do nothing <gasps> oh ooh. I see yarn I see yarn and that's my favorite color blue and I know this one. I think this is a knit crate. No. Uh, I can't pronounce it, but I know what you're talking about. This is gorgeous. Not Mono's Uruguay. Uh, 
Aramsenia. I am not pronouncing that correctly, but check out that gorgeous blue. <gasps> There's info right there. And it's that one. It's beautiful. Oh my God, it's so soft. Mm, 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 mm. There's a little note here. I gotta put my eyes on. Hmm. <laughs> Z, you said to send you a coffee cup from where I'm at. Hope you can use the yarn to make your grandbaby and yourself something. Blessings, Justine. Now I can read you the name of the yarn. Aronkania? Aronsania? Yarns? Spanish for luxurious. Lujoso. Spanish for luxur luxurious. What's the contents? Baby alpaca, mulberry silk, and fine merino blend. Gemini. Gemini. There's 164 yachts. The color is malachit. Malach, malachit? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, James C. Brett. I love James C. Brett Marble Chunky. This is James C. Brett, James C. Brett Baby Marble Double Knit. This comes from the UK. Look at that. I can make a, um, 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 Ralph's Baby Octo with this. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I got two of them. I got two of them. Oh, thank you. And this must be the mug. Let's see. Let's see. My lucky day. I'm sure glad Leo juiced me up so that I can make this video. Because I sure was feeling like <laughs> I sure was. It's very well wrapped. The yarn gave it a beautiful cushion. <gasps> what? What? Colorado. <gasps> Look. Look. Is that y'all's um, um, logo thing? Look at that. Colorado. I want to go to Colorado so bad. I hear it's so beautiful there. That's one place I want to go to. That is drivable if I stop and do hotels every now and then. Wowzer schnauzer. That is all my happy mail, my foes. I am working on a hoe for the Yarny YouTube Hop with Kim the Crafty Nomad. I will leave her link down below. Every season, summer, spring, fall, winter, you make a project for the area you live in. I'm using this yarn to make a project because the other yarn, I had a frog. It's a long story. If I ain't feeling it, I ain't gonna do it. So that's all I have for today. I thank you everybody for hanging out with me. I'm sorry that I was not here, but you guys know I work off energy. And if I'm not feeling good, I cannot make a video because I'll be like, <laughs> and cussing like I'm like a sailor. Is that what you say? Like a sailor? Cussing like a trucker? I don't know. Do truckers cruck? Do truckers cuss? I think sailors cuss. Yeah. But I am feeling better now. Thank you to Leo, my lifesaver, Usa. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so I gotta go on to my Zoom. So I gotta go on to my Zoom meeting now, and it's 20 minutes in. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I hope you're staying cool. And if you're in Australia where it's freezing, I hope you're staying toasty warm. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll leave all the links down below. And uh, that's all. Love you, friends. Bye. Thank you so much, friends, for clicking onto my channel. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will subscribe, like, and share the video. And check out these two videos here. I hope you enjoy them and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye!